Hey, what's up? It's Chanel, and today, welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlogs Daily Classic. And I know I've gone over Drawing Down the Moon by Beharit. One of my favorite black metal releases. We're blasting live at the Devil Studio behind us because today we're going to be talking about the mighty Beharit once more, but going over the amazing Nuclear War Now first repress of the Oath of Black Blood. Enter the Satanic Batho Metal Temple, the 1990 classic of Finnish bestial black metal. I love how Nuclear War now, like, took the Turbo logo and made it their own. There's the man. And we're gonna take a look at the picture disc version. Now, we'll go over this in a second. It's just gorgeous outside right now. And again, Nuclear War now taking a little liberty with um, changing the logo and having it look fucking awesome. One of my favorite promo photos of all fucking time. Like, how can you not love that promo photo? If you like black metal, like, come on. Like, he's squeezing like an invisible fucking zucchini. But it's really fucking well done here. And this is an expensive, like, set. I have to thank John Randall for legit snagging this for the channel. Cassette and this monster right here, which acts like, I'm lucky that I have this. His copy actually was lost in the mail and he ordered another one. And then like a month later, this showed up and he was like, yo, Merry Christmas. And that's how I got the Oath of Black Blood on wax. And I don't care what anybody says, I actually really like picture discs. I know this isn't like a back on black piece of shit picture disc. This is, you know, top fucking shelf. And it sounds top shelf. This is worth every fucking penny. Like, the details are absolutely phenomenal cosmetically, but sound wise, the only bit of crackling you're gonna get on here is just like a little bit at the intro and stuff. Like, that's it. It sounds fucking great. Like, and I honestly, you know, I prefer this over the black vinyl just because, like, you know, let's say I do end up getting another copy of this. This is something I would love to frame and, you know, do the whole nine. Because I, I love, you know, technically, technically speaking, the first Beharit record. But I know this is, you know, technically a compilation, but... It's a classic. It's ridiculous, like, you know, how influential bands like Sarcophago and Blasphemy were worldwide when it came to their image, sound, and everything like that. I just think it's fucking cool, like, especially when you look at some of these bands that, you know, go back even further than you know, 1988. Like, like some bands that started, you know, like around 81, but maybe didn't do an album 
for years later. There's a lot of bands like that. Kind of obscure, like, you know, they might have done one... Like, there, there's demo bands out there that are, like, a million times better than some bands that, you know, have multiple full-length records. Sometimes less is more. But here, like I was saying, if you're a fan of, you know, getting information about bands you like, anytime Nuclear War Now does a reissue, you're gonna get the fucking goods for the most part when it comes to like show flyers, information you might have never known, very rare promo and behind the scenes photos. It's fucking great. And it's worth every penny, like, you know. These aren't very cheap. I mean, the black vinyl, I think it's $31, which is a good deal. I think the picture disc might be sold out. Like, some of these shows are just, like, ridiculous. Like, convulse with disgrace sentence. Oh, my goodness. And then here's, like, the original pressings. And back in the day, like, picture discs seemed to be, like, the way a lot of bands, you know, went. And yeah, I think there's something wrong with the... Oh, no, not on this side. But uh, this is um, the second press picture disc on the bottom. And the whispering vocals that Beherit does, they were taken from Timat's Sumerian Cry and uh, Treblanca. That's fucking sick. Because I remember when I read that for the first time, I, like, I was intrigued because... I'm a big Beharit fan, and I try to sneak some of those whispers into a Cursed Womb stuff, and yeah, it comes from Beharit, but also Time Ghoul. But like, I love this shit, like, you know, you could technically fax Turbo Music if you really wanted to. Shithouse Records. There, that's what I was talking about, like, Nuclear War Now taking, like, liberties and making it their own like seven dollars for the debut picture ep satanic brutal death metal that's fucking sick worship the devil the infamous Chris Moen, or Moyen. I always fuck up Chris's last name. Beherit Baphomet. More Flyers. They play with Convulse a lot. Unholy, fuck yeah. That was probably sick. And this is my favorite page of this book. You got the fucking... Lord Below sitting on his charnel altar and fucking Holocausto being a maniac with an OG Fallen Angel of Doom hoodie. I fucking love that photo. Like, to me, that represents like so much. Like, it's a whole aesthetic and everything. Crushing the crucifix. I love this rehearsal room photo. Like, it's just fucking great. I love the looks on their faces. But this is stuff, like, you're not gonna find anywhere else unless, you know, you have these old zines, like... You know, this is back when Incantation released the, uh... Entrailment of Evil. The 7-inch. Brutal and heavy death metal. Three dollars. Hats are six dollars. <laughs> but I love stuff like this. 
very interesting. And it just keeps going, like, this is badass too, like, I think it's awesome when, you know, a band archives their past and stuff. It's something I've been trying to do with A Cursed Womb. And we've been able to capture with my old band, Skeleton Proof Tanks. And here's a... Uh, when the Oath of Black Blood first came out on all of its formats. I'm guessing that's the original uh, demo tape. But it's awesome, you know, they really, really did a good job recapturing everything. The Black Blood Tour 1991. Man, I could look at like Chris's art all day. It's a fucking Akron ad in here, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Tons of awesome advertisements. Turbo music ad from Vampire Magazine, number three. That classic photo I was talking about at the cemetery. Have some more zine interviews. A sick metal passion party with Beharit and company. And then we have some amazing live photos. This is Armageddon. I know that's Satyricon, but here's another photo that's just fucking great. Like I was saying, all these, like, photos, interviews, everything. Like, this record, you know, the price it is for a reason. And it's not even that expensive for what you get here. Like, that show right there. Holy fucking shit. Demigod, Impaled Nazarene, Early Amorphous. That's the Day of Darkness. Sentenced, Belial. You gotta love the basketball knit. Like, we've all been there. And then there's a write-up of the fest. I used to actually like when we would play gymnasiums. Like, I always thought, you know, the sound was good, honestly. At least the gymnasiums we played, we had good sound. And there's live photos. And if you look and stuff, you could see, you know, where a lot of bands just kind of, you know, got their image from. And although, you know, Beharit was talking with the guys in Blasphemy and everything, I really like to think that, you know, they were one of the first but they weren't, but at the same time, they kind of were, you know, doing the bestial thing alongside like Archgoat in Finland, Impaled Nazarene, etc. When it comes to the more bestial side of black metal. But when it comes to a reissue, Nuclear War now knows what the fuck's up. They always do a bang up job. And especially with the Oath of Black Blood, it's just a fantastic reissue in my opinion. The sound is absolutely phenomenal. Essential listening to all you fucking Black Death Maniacs out there. And even if you're not like the biggest fan of Black Death Metal, this is definitely a record you can, you know, wet your beak with 
and if you don't like it, you don't like it, but if you like it, oh man, prepare to go down a very deep rabbit hole of savagery. Because the Oath of Black Blood is top shelf bestial black death metal. Of the satanic variety, this is a total war against Christ sonically captured in the beginning of the 90s in the depths of Finland. Beherit, the oath of blah, blah. But also, check out my video on Beherit's drawing down the moon. Big difference in sound. This is a lot more atmospheric and weird and icy cold sounding. But um, when it comes to bestial black death metal, you know, this is up there, in my opinion, with like INRI, Fallen Angel of Doom, War Cult Supremacy. Yeah, it's a fucking classic for a reason. This is the Nuclear War Now picture disc reissue, first pressing of the reissue. But um, yeah, I'm very, very stoked to have a copy of this monster. Fuck yeah. Beherit, the Oath of Black Blood. Nuclear War Now reissue. A plus sound, A plus packaging. Fucking amazing stuff. Do not sleep on this. Because I know they did a reissue, so don't think this isn't going to sell out again. It might already be sold out again. And they have, like, hoodies, long sleeves, the goods. Nuclear War Now. Links will be in the video description. Now, as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. Thank you, John Randall for grabbing this. This was such a good fucking Christmas and birthday present. And as always, again, thanks for watching. Hails.